I try not to ever wear my hair in a bun in a video because I just look like a dude. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Alley Cat, and I'm back at it again with a new video. Let's leave damn Daniel where it's at. Anyways, so I found out a couple days ago that my girl, Alley Cat underscore Queen, definitely updated her story. Remember I read that one story with Chad like a couple videos ago? Yeah, well this is chapter two. Let's see what happens. I'm so nervous because like we found out last time that my stepdad is a jerk who um, is abusive and a drunk and he might hurt me. So I'm kind of scared to find out what happens in the story. Chapter two. Disclaimer, I have never read this before in my life. So this reaction that you see in a minute is real and authentic. Okay, thank you. One week later, Allie and her mother had just finished putting bags in the car. Mom, please don't leave me here. Allie said, leaning against the wall. Her mother rolled her eyes. Honey, it's only for a week. Plus, you have Jordan here with you. She said, shutting the trunk. Allie bit her lip. Yeah, I guess, she whispered, running her fingers through her hair. <laughs> she slid down the wall, sitting on the ground, just thinking about what she will have to go through for a whole week. Her mother walked up to her. Hey, I've gotta go. Get up and give me a hug, she said, holding her hand out. Allie grabbed it and pulled herself up. As soon as she got up, she was pulled into a bone-crushing hug. I'll miss you, my sweet child, the older woman whispered, pulling Allie out of the hug. Allie just smiled and allowed her mom to get in the car. She watched as she saw the car pull out the driveway down the street. Okay, let me just cut for a second and just say that I'm getting nervous, like the tension is rising for me right now. I don't know if it's rising for anybody else, but I'm just a scary movie person. So this sounds like a plot of a scary movie and you're like afraid of the stepdad. So I'm starting to get nervous, like the stepdad's going to kill me. I'm just rambling. Let's see what happens next. She walked back in the house, plopping down on the couch, scrolling through her phone. About an hour passes until she heard the front door open. She jumped. Quickly standing up, she turned to leave the living room, but bumped into him. Yes, him. Jordan. She caused him to stumble back. I'm sorry, she said quietly, trying to walk around him, but was pushed back. Listen, brat, I don't want to hear shit from you the whole week. Got it? The man said, jabbing his index finger into her chest. All she could do was nod. Now go! Get out! He lastly said, pushing her into the kitchen closer to the front door. Okay. She whispered, reaching down for her shoes. As soon as she grabbed them, the girl reached for the door handle, slowly turning it. Faster, came the deep voice again, causing her to jump. She yanked the door open, leaving the house. He is so scary, I don't know, like. Now outside, Allie decided to take a walk. She slowly walked towards the same woods she had lived next to her whole life. Once she reached the path, she pulled out her phone, texting her best and only friend, Liza. The text message goes like this. Hey, can you meet me at the park? Yeah, are you okay? Just meet me. She put the phone back in her pocket. The girl headed down the path, reaching the small park that was at the end. She walked over the bench and waited. About 30 minutes later, she heard her name being called out. Allie! A little brown girl called out, running down the path, stopping in front of her. Hey. Allie quietly said, causing the other girl to frown. What happened this time? Liza asked. But Allie just shook her head, looking down, avoiding eye contact. Liza slowly sat next to her. Allie, I know it's hard for you, but you gotta talk to me, she whispered, wrapping her arm around the girl. Allie paused for a moment, then finally spoke. I need to get away from him, from this, from everything. She said, holding back tears that were threatening to fall. It was silent for a while until Liza spoke up. What can you do? It's not like you can kill him. Allie held her breath, letting those words soak in. Kill him. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. Is this about to turn into how to get away with murder? Because I'm ready. I'm ready to embark on this trip. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, put a thumbs up. If you did not, don't be putting no thumbs down on my videos. And if you're cool, go like me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash alleycat, where I upload behind the scenes giveaways and other cool things. Go check it out. And add me on Snapchat where I snap about weird stuff. It's cool, I promise. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step. Now it's time for Kid of the Week. When that should literally be the theme song. This week's Kid of the Week is Dinah's Moan, AKA Manon. I hope I'm saying your name right. I think I am, but you let me know in the DMs because I will be sending you DMs. Woohoo! And if you wanna be Kid of the Week next week, here's a link below to find out how. Your vines give me cancer.